I know you're going to be shocked. I've kind of moved off of my mafia. What? Again. Back and hyped. What's up, smuts, let's book babes, and everything in between. We're here for episode six. Episode six. It feels like a milestone. We got I through five know. episodes. And we just released our book club episode. First book clubs out, First guys. I, I hope you listen. I hope you guys get to catch uh, Stay for the Smut. It's going to be our special uh, release uh, episodes for book club. Yes. Uh, we're going to try to do them every couple weeks. Oh, we're going to try. It's going to yeah. be super random. And we want to eventually make like a Facebook group so or like some kind of Instagram group where we can all talk to each other and read the book together like an actual book club. Yeah. It could be a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun doing it, just talking about one book yeah. straight through. And you know what would be amazing? If we um, had guests on when we do the book club episode. That would be fun. And we talked to them about... Oh, I yeah. literally just came to my just head. Like, Fan the group. I was like, that'd be so much fun to do like a huge Zoom Zoom book call, club yeah. call for the episode. Our best ideas come at the most random. I times. know. Is I love it the it. best time? <laughs> the worst time of recording. It happens. I think it's the and best. That's what counts. Exactly. <laughs> it's down. It's recorded now. But yeah, we're we're finally into it. We've been teasing it, and it's out there. Yes. We're we're making progress. It was fun to make. What's the next book gonna be? Who knows? We're, who knows? We don't know. We have a couple that we're thinking about, and we keep changing it. Yeah, because there's just so many books to read right now. Yeah, so don't ask us because we don't know. We don't know. We're, we're trying. We're trying. We're going to do so much. Well, it's also because our schedules are so, so different. Yeah. That reading we at the same time. Work opposite shifts. It's impossible, yeah. <laughs> it's, most of the time. It's, not, it's yeah, it's hard. <laughs> it's tough, you know? But we enjoyed it. As, as always, cheers, babe. Cheers. What are we having today? Today we have a bibbidi bop lemon drop. <laughs> I also came up with that I on the spot. I love so much. <laughs> she, we were just talking about today. She's like, "What should we do for for the episode?" And I was like, "Why don't we do a lemon drop martini? You something, know, it's that something easy, kill us. That's delicious, and yeah, and we can kind of we. I won't say watered it down, but we added club soda to it just to kind of dial it back a notch. Because technically, it's and water. It's so good. It's delicious. Hydration, baby. Yeah. You know? So we have a uh, regular, uh, your standard Tito's vodka. Like always, it's our take on the lemon drop martini. Yeah. <laughs> well, because we forgot a couple things. We always forget a couple things. <laughs> At least. That's why you guys love us, right? We made the cocktail. We, <laughs> we did it. We didn't pop a can. We didn't twist a top. <laughs> yeah, we didn't buy mixed up sangria. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we did regular Tito's vodka, a little, uh, a different type of limoncello. Yes, my uh, friend Jake, he works at, well he's one of the managers at the Taqueria in Mystic, Connecticut. He, we went in there for tacos and margaritas the other night and we were talking about the podcast and stuff and he was like, here, he, he just comes out with he this. just gave it to us. Thing of limoncello. He's like, a it's my homemade court. limoncello. And I was like, <gasps> We Thank have so you. much to go through. So much. So it's delicious. Don't be surprised if Limoncello just shows up in every It's like the next 12 bit. episodes. Yeah. <laughs> Limoncello. Yeah, Limoncello. We've got us. Limoncello. We're like, we're making a Tito's and soda with Limoncello. We're making, I mean, it's kind of what we did tonight. That's here. exactly <laughs> what we did. <laughs> well, I'm going to shoot myself in the foot. Uh, yeah, like margaritas, Limoncello. Yeah. Make gin and tonic. Limoncello. <laughs> It's just going to be a stable. I'm sorry. It's just limoncello. I'm going to drink from here on out. Yeah. When I go to work, oh, they're right. like, Jen, is that your water bottle? I'll be like, it's my limoncello water yeah. now. But this one's different because he made it with agave, which I've never heard of before. And it, it's so freaking good. Guys. Hilarious thing, though. Jen didn't know that limoncello had, had no alcohol idea. in it None. already. So, so she I was, was about to be to, like, oh, she's about to wild. dump that shit I in didn't her. think about it. I was like, oh, it's like a lemon simple syrup. And Charlotte's like, it's got booze in it. <laughs> She, okay. Yeah, this is why I just started yeah. taking over the mixing. Yeah, for reasons like you this. know, it only took six episodes, but <laughs> finally did. We're here now. Well, we technically did. seven if oh. you include the other day. Well, we can't count two because those were no. We're the counting pre-mixed. those. Those were the pre-mix. We we're don't know. counting them because we added to them. No, we didn't. We added fruit. Oh, and <laughs> that's different. The fruit won't get us fucked. And up. we added salt. To the margarita. I hated the salt. I don't like and the salt. lime. Oh wait, no, I did leave salt. I love salt. <laughs> I love salt too. 
in my margarita. I can't. The other day we went and asked for salt and the sugar in my margarita and they gave me sugar. Lame. I hate it because it's already sweet enough. Yeah. I need true. that saltiness for it to break it up some. Gotta but, that salt. Yeah. Gotta but anyways. So what, what episode are we doing this week? What's this episode going to be about? Retellings on the rocks. Please. Please. We're so excited. We, so because we just did Ruin and Roses for Book Club, we mm -hmm. thought it was only appropriate to do a retelling retellings episode. Did we record this episode a few weeks ago? Yes. Uh, yeah. Did, did it we go hate well? It? It did not go well. <laughs> I like how we did the opposite. <laughs> we also hated it. Will we hate this one? Maybe. We Probably. might redo it again for the third time. No, we'll I don't want to do it again. We I'm might be doing it. like a real quick record on Sunday. No, I can't. Or Friday night. Time. Friday night. We should do the blanket fort Friday night. Oh, that would be fun. We're planning on doing a blanket fort and recording it for you guys. I just want to build a blanket fort. Drunk. No, I don't even want to do it for the content. I just want to build a blanket fort. I want to do both. <laughs> I want to go live. Let's go live. On no, we're not doing that. I'm yeah. never going to go live ever. Maybe someday. No, we will. I feel like so much. Like I know if I go live, someone's going to break in my house and murder me. What? And in the comments, that's just escalated no, so fast. In the comments, someone's going to be like Jen. Who's that person behind you? And I'm gonna be like this, like reading it, like Jen. Who's that person? Ah! And then they're gonna stab me, and they're gonna kill us. This is where I get concerned with how <laughs> dark of books you read, because my first thought of going live was just that I don't know something maybe like Bailey will bark too much. You're nope. just like someone's gonna straight up oh kidnap me. Someone's coming inside. Someone's He's gonna coming kill inside. us. <laughs> But after I take my Krav Maga class, I'll kick his ass. Yeah, that's true. She's taking <laughs> jujitsu classes. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to start. You know, I feel like it's time. I want to do something fun. I'm just going to grab back the, the bat gym. that I gave, gave Riley and just go all ham on this. Listen, uh, I, I was talking to my coworkers the other day, and they were all laughing because they were like, oh, I have, you know, this in my house for protection. And I was like, bitch, I got a baseball bat. I have a sword. I have a, um, a dagger. Isn't the Throwing sword knives. Dull? They don't know that. <laughs> so, if someone comes at you with a sword, are you going to be like, wait, is that thing sharp? No. It's going to hurt if I hit you with it. Like, and I have on. a butcher knife Did you remember bed. to sharpen that? <laughs> like, how sharp is it? I don't believe you. I can you. get him in the eye. Oh, man. Very good aim. On that note. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe we will go Instagram live soon. I can't. Just to see if that happens. We're going to lock ourselves in my bedroom. We're not even going to talk about books. We're just going to straight up kick somebody's ass. Just going to murder people. I Can you guys spell us out of jail if we go? <laughs> Somebody will. Someone. Someone's got to. Anyone. Anyone. Someone's got to like us that much, right? Not you our think. families. Maybe. Yeah, no. <laughs> They'd be like, you did this to yourself. You did it. You you said. We are not You sorry. put it out there. You have a podcast. Yeah. You, you didn't think the crazies were going to come out? You are <laughs> Guilty. Guilty by association. Guilty by charge. <laughs> I plead the fifth of Jack. I'm like, I didn't do it. I'm sorry. I swear. I'm a they good were building girl. a blanket for I'm a very good girl. <laughs> yeah, we were just trying to build a blanket for it. And a for. somehow we just thought, guys, we don't have a podcast. I anymore. think we're manifesting someone to break in my house and kill us. Yeah, I know. At some point, someone's going to just do, do it. Do you see the cupcake? <laughs> I launched That's that. That's just Bailey. I launched it. No, I launched it from. The couch the other day and it stuck you in still between my data stories. I left it. I want to see how long it stays there. I mean, it's probably going to be a while. On that note, what did we remember to do twice this week? Go to Book Barn. And you didn't get hesitate good at this. this time. <laughs> I am so I proud of like, you. We went today. If you hesitated, I'd be like, come on, man. I know. Well, I was like, drink. Record episodes. Well, of course we do that. Uh. <laughs> Dude, ever since we started this podcast, I don't know why, I just keep drinking way more than I should, because I go so, out and drink, too. Yeah, we, like, go out with friends. Which I have not done before. And then, <laughs> we're like, oh, cocktails again? Darn. Sure. That's fine. My brain doesn't hurt. No, no. Oh, my chest doesn't feel heavy. <laughs> the bags under my eyes aren't getting bigger. But, as always, we had pretty great hauls this week. We did. We got some good stuff. What'd you get, Jen? Um, I got... A House of Salt and Sorrows by Aaron A. Craig. I saw this... Oh, there's Limoncello on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this on, as we've talked before, on TikTok um, a bunch. And the two books that I got today are both more YA. And as you all know by now, it's not really my cup of tea. This bitch. But the covers are really pretty. 
and I've seen them all over TikTok, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to get them, and I'm going to eventually try them. It was hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I heard her. I didn't even see her. I heard her from across the room because I'm, like, hunched over looking at the lower, one of the lower bookshelves, and all I hear her go is, oh, no, there's no smut in it. <laughs> I'm like, like you, no you can't just comprehend for one book. She's like, no, I, no, I can't. No. She straight up was like, no. It was, it was bad. Uh... But I got them anyways, because like I said, the covers are pretty, and I've heard about them. The other one is Frostblood by Ellie Blake. Um, I love it, how the bargain price on there, too, is Yeah, that's one thing that does suck out the barn, is it, <laughs> they'll leave the stickers on the books, and it'll say, like, they paid a dollar, or, like, three ninety seven, like this one, and then the book will be between 4 and $8. So, like, this one is three ninety seven on the back, and I paid $6 for it. But you know what? What do you, and I'm throwing books again. Like, <laughs> I just accepted So it. the other two books I got on our other book haul a couple days ago was A Touch of Ruin by Scarlet St. Clair. And guess which where is the second it was? One in the, the YA, YA section. section. Like, oh, it, oh and That's the nice. other one, the other one that I got is the Bargainer series. It's all the books, the complete series in one book in the YA section. Not it is very much point. not a children's book. Oh, and it's the Bargainer series by Laura Thalassa? Sounds right. Tallahassee? <laughs> it does look like Tallahassee. Tallahassee. <laughs> Laura Th Thalassa. Um, but yeah, so it's... I, I've started the first book like a long time ago, and then I think I actually stopped reading it to start reading Akatar. <laughs> And I never went back just because I Akatar. fell in love with Akatar and then fell down that rabbit hole. And um, when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, I, I wanted to read this series. And now I have the whole thing. So maybe I'll start that one tonight. I'm trying to think of what book I want to start. Um, and that was too it. many. I can't keep track. <laughs> I know. But I think that's all I have. I think I just got four books this week. I got What'd you get? I got so much. So I got um, Sky in the Deep by uh, Adrian Young, and you got this a few weeks ago, right? Yeah, we got it at a book barn. It's also, there's another copy there. Yeah, uh, I got the hardback, you got the paperback. I feel like that happens to us all the time. Mm -hmm. um, but this chick sounds badass, so I can't wait to get into it. Ellen. Not the Ellen from the past. Ellen. I got um, the Torch Against the Night, the sequel to the Ember and the Ashes novel. I can't wait to start that. Wow, this one I'm actually pretty excited about. Uh, the Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. It, this just story just sounds so it intriguing. It has a really pretty cover. It has a beautiful cover. I'm definitely displaying this on my bookshelf. But this story just sounded very interesting where this girl is just basically... She kind of exiled herself from her kingdom, but something's going on with, like, her mom or something, or the, the queen that's taken over right now, and she's the true ruler, and she's starting to know her abilities and stuff like that, that badass chick moment yeah. that she knows she's worthy of. So it just sounded really good. And then, actually, Jen found this for me. I almost I got, got today. it. But I was uh, like, no, you only need two books today. Uh, the Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. The author of The Night Circus, which is oh, one of my yeah, favorite I say, books. And that's ever. another reason why I let Charlotte grab it, is because she's been telling me about how The Night Circus is so good, and I was like, well, if it's the author of The Night Circus, maybe she'll really like this one. <laughs> and I didn't even look at what it was about. I was just like, I just want the book. Hey, it has great reviews. I looked it up on Amazon, like 8,000 reviews and like four and a half, five stars. I was like, fuck it, I'll take it. Um, <laughs> oh, I got two more here. So I got Igniting Darkness. Bye. Hold oh, for suspense, please. Robin Lefevers? Lefevers? Sure. Lefevers, yeah. God, Why not? It looks good. I gotta start looking those last names up. <laughs> it's always the last <laughs> right. name, yeah. Um, I got the... So this is the sequel to Courting Darkness, so I automatically bought that on Amazon before. Um, yeah, just... Put that in my cart like five bucks. I was like, I need to the hey, first one. Yeah. Obviously, she like <laughs> sent me a picture and she's like, Jen, look what I just got. And it took me a minute. She's like, I got the whatever book from yeah, you didn't know the series. And I was like, that's cool, cool. And then I was, I like, googled it because I was like, well, I, on Amazon, I was like, I feel like I should know. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh, yeah. oh, now I, I got remember. This book. I remember. <laughs> uh, and then the last one I got that I picked up was a uh, Heartless. I 
definitely seen this mm -hmm. over it's TikTok, shelf. book talk, all that. Yeah, I saw it on your shelf by Marissa Myers. She's like, this book looks familiar. Oh, look, it's on my shelf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely seen it on TikTok, too. But a uh, Alice in Wonderland retelling. Yes, the Red Queen. Which I actually, I don't, I think this is the first one I've ever come across as far as that retelling goes. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen. I haven't heard much of them. No. Not so Red, it's Red one. Queen? And Alice in Wonderland retelling? I have no idea. I've never read it. I don't know, me either. I feel like it should be. Once again, we just can't catch up. We just keep getting books and not reading yeah. them. But yeah. I read them on my Kindle. Definitely. <laughs> Different books. Yeah, definitely one of the lesser known retellings probably. Uh, if there is more, I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Message us, let us know. Yeah. We uh, love retellings. We, yeah, we do. Which is why we were basing a whole episode on it. Yes. Because obviously our favorite retelling is Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. So, so many. Retellings of that. Definitely my favorite Beauty and the Beast retelling. Obviously, I mean, we just did A Road of oh, Roses. A Court of Thorns and Roses for you weirdos that don't know. Yeah, we're so used to saying Akatar, we're just like, it's <laughs> very natural. By Sarah J. Moss. <laughs> which y'all should know. I just expect <laughs> everyone to know at this yeah. point, which surprisingly, a lot of people still don't. Yeah. Like, a lot of people don't have TikTok or yeah. whatever. But yeah, but yeah. it's amazing. Uh, yeah, Beauty and the Beast, you just constantly see it's just very easy to remake it is it's and, and everyone loves a girl falling in love with a terrible mean villain that yeah. has a soft spot only for her it's it's Typical obviously enemies to lovers. The, yeah it's the fact of like the enemies to lovers people soak that up that mm -hmm. that's the best retelling to just link it to yeah and like i said we all, we all love a mean villain the morally her, gray character that, yeah that, that just Trump. He's that grumpy sunshine, and he only has that soft spot for her. Mm -hmm. And their love is so amazing. It's so wonderful. Granted, in Akatar, technically... Talon was a dick. It's not the sweet ending, like, in normal well, Beauty and the Beast. That we all would prefer. Well, I mean, technically it was, but... Not I'll... with who the Beast is in Akatar. I don't get it, though. I hated Tamlin from the beginning. Everyone, every time I see a freaking TikTok where it was like, oh, I remember falling in love with Tamlin, then falling in love with Reese and I'm like, uh, yeah, I was like, yeah, it was cute, but I never, never liked him from the I, beginning. I liked Tamlin at certain points. Nope. I hated him in the beginning. I thought he was I boring. liked once he started, like, Calamine Night, when they, like, get a little hot and heavy, but I still hated him because I was like, you're still going to go out there and fuck up. It was just, so cringy for me I was so time. pissed at that part. But it was still like, ooh, okay, he came back. Maybe he didn't have sex with someone. Yeah, no. But then whenever, like, Under the Mountain, the whole time I'm like, you worthless piece of shit. Yeah, like, something. I already hated him at that point. Yeah. But at that, that, through that, I was just like, doing absolutely fucking absolutely like nothing. nothing. <laughs> Worthless. <laughs> but then he gets Mist and Fury. And you mm. get a Hades and Persephone retelling, you do. which is my probably my number. Actually, honestly, I'm gonna put Hades and Persephone over Beauty and the Beast, hands down. I could see. I, could I see that. love it because I, I just love whether it's actually Hades in general or just like an, a, a personification of Hades. Because Reese Hand is definitely, definitely Hades. The misunderstood. Yes. <sighs> The amazing, beautiful man. Mr. Fury is obviously very much the grumpy sunshine enemies to lovers. Is Fury a sunshine, though? To a degree. I don't is know. She? I mean, compared to <laughs> how Reese was, yes. Well, compared to how Reese was in Akatar in front of people. Again, Akatar, major spoilers. <laughs> We've warned you all ahead of time. <laughs> but yeah, like, so, I don't know. I don't consider Grease a grumpy. I don't, I, like, he's... Only for a little bit. Yeah. Not like, a lot. there's certain parts, he's like I said, in Akatar where he has to pretend to be a grump. Yeah. And in front of certain people, he has to hold that, you know, that just air of authority type over them. Yeah, but the, uh, like, the like, like Night Court, Night Court Reese. Yeah. Grump. I mean, he's still a badass. Yeah. But still then you get man. into the series of Touch of Darkness, mm -hmm. which is my, one of my favorite comfort it's reads. Charlotte's <laughs> favorite. I'm just obsessed with Hades. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I love them, but. I, I left that stuff up, yeah. I could go on and on about how much, just, I don't know what it is. Just, Hades just has his power over me, apparently. <laughs> like, He's even speechless. Loved it. Loved the series. And then, um, but then you also just get the Hades and Persephone retellings of Promises and Pomegranates. Yeah, I haven't is, read that one yet. It is 
Hades and Persephone, which they do um, kind of mention them, but make it mafia. So it's a yeah. little more modernized. Where Tony Definitely, Darkness I has. probably love it because yeah. I I do love a good Hades and Persephone retelling. Um, like I love to touch of darkness. Yeah, I DNF'd Neon Gods. I just I read like a little over half. And just kind of fell off of it. Yeah, that's one of the big ones where it's so 50-50 yeah. on the reviews. And 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 some people loved it. And I do want to go back and read it again. Because, like, as, you know, I get older and I read them again, sometimes I'm okay with more things than I wasn't when I was younger. <laughs> Even though it was, like, a year ago. But still, like, some things I read now, I'm like, I could have DNF'd it for something that I wouldn't DNF a book for now. But yeah. I don't know. I just... I liked Promises and Pomegranates. Didn't really care that much for it. It was very much... Uh, your typical mafia yeah. retelling. So I feel like I would love that one. There were certain parts where it was a little anticlimactic for me, mm-hmm. but it was just like they they just made it in the sense of like he called her his little Persephone, and then oh. she eventually was just like, I guess he's my Hades. Where at least with Talk to Darkness, you get those fantasy realms. There's magic. There's all these. There's glamour mm-hmm. and stuff like that. It was still good though. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Not my favorite mafia retelling though. No. Oh, we all know what our favorite mafia reselling is. It may or may not be hooked. It definitely is hooked. It's a hundred percent. James, he is just a beautiful man with a dark past <laughs> that just wants to be loved. He just wants to feel whole again. <laughs> and it's he does. So good. And I love the take on it that hooked is not the bad guy. Like, he's a bad guy, but he's not the bad guy in it. I actually did not see that twist coming. Like I did. Said, like we said before. I was like, mm Yeah, like we've mentioned before, I'm not good at saying that stuff where Jen is. I just... I um, called it. I, I didn't want it to be true because I liked the character that yeah, it was it all hard does to it too. But I was like, this is what I'm I was still doing. Gonna I get better. Yeah, this had a better build-up for me because yeah. obviously... Spoilers ahead, as always. We're just going to keep reminding you guys, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> we just to make sure. Skip, like, 30 seconds. Yeah, but to the, fa- the fact that he thought she betrayed him. I know. But Betrayal! She doesn't. But she doesn't, and once he realizes he fucks up, he's like, well, fuck, what do I do with her mm-hmm. now? Just fall in love with her. I know. I love it so much. And I like the way that they do the stopwatch. Like, it normally the it's tick, like yeah. a crocodile. Yeah, that does it like the ticking, but in this, yeah. he just any kind of watch ticking, he can't stand it. The can't only thing that I did see coming though was the fact that Smee was the bad guy, obviously, yeah. and her dad. Her dad was a piece of shit. Oh yeah, I was just like, pull that trigger, girl. I was like, he gonna kill everybody. Yeah, kill your dad. Yeah, <laughs> blow it right now. You, yeah, go it. So good. I loved it, and we're both very excited. So at some point for book club to. We are definitely reading Scar together. Will it be the next book club? Will it be three from now? We don't know. We don't know. Uh, we'll let we'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, we want to do Scar. It's a Lion King retelling, which was one we of my favorite learned that movies. Today. Yeah, we were like, crap. What's it? What was Scar be about? And I was like, is it Lion King? Like Scar, Scarred. Yeah, I was like, and I don't know. Charlotte's like looking it up. She's like, it is. It is. I was like, King. wow, cool. <laughs> So yeah, we're both very excited to read it. Yeah, I'm curious where that story is going to lead to. Um, and I was like, maybe I'll read it tonight, and then I can just three read it. The group. <laughs> I probably will read it. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Oh, can't wait. Um, another one that we really like is well, we haven't read it yet, but we want to uh, is Malice by Heather Walter. Mm. It's a Sleeping Beauty retelling. Um, yeah, I. Uh... Loved the synopsis on the back of that book where it was just like, You think you want a cute, happy ending with the fairy tale? Yeah. She's, She's like, like, Well, is this isn't it, it. I have no idea. I don't know. the books, I'm like, She doesn't really mafia. get into it. Yeah. She, she, doesn't, doesn't, mafia. she doesn't get into it. She's just like, Well, this ain't it. Sorry, yeah. y'all. Like, it's the complete opposite. Mm-hmm. There is heartbreak and betrayal in here. And I'm like, Sign me up. Well, as long as he doesn't cheat, I don't care. <laughs> Do whatever know. you want. Don't cheat. We're never going to know unless we try. I know. Maybe that'll be the next book club. We keep saying that, but I, I don't want to get anyone's expectations too high. I'm like, maybe House of Salt and Sorrow. Maybe A Touch of Ruin. Maybe Queen of Nothing. I maybe already read Touch of Ruin. <laughs> With the whole series, girl. <laughs> well, I haven't. I only read the first. Or maybe Sky in the Deep. We both have that. That's true. That'd be we cool. have a lot of the same books now. Yeah, we could do Heartless. That's true, too. It's a retelling. I know. It's just going to keep being retellings, I feel (laughs) like. Retelling book club. But retelling 
of the box. With the smut. With the smut and the spice. The smut. Less spice. Less spicy. <laughs> <laughs> you see me think of uh, in The Little Mermaid, whenever the, the, he's like the cook. And he's like, oh, crab! <laughs> oh, yeah, speaking oh, of Little Mermaid, that. that's my one of my other favorite retellings, mm -hmm. too. So if anybody's looking for a nice... Like why Avery just to I take hope a little. None of you are because we can't be friends. Well, because <laughs> I'm sorry, all of you don't have problems like Jen does, <laughs> where she just needs the torture Hashtag every time. Trauma. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I highly recommend To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Christo. 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 Yeah. Christo. I don't know why hey, I said Christo. Christo. I was thinking of our the pizza Christo, place. Christo. Hey, hey, hey. Christos. 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 Oh, Christos. I say Christos. I don't know why. Where? Mystic. Oh. That's at the side point. That's that shitty people. Yeah, place. I... Just re kidding. So I'm showing up great food. Yeah. Uh, Do they? I don't know. <laughs> it's like that late night, you're already drunk, go there. I'm just <laughs> gonna get off that topic. <laughs> um, but yeah, To Kill a Kingdom. Loved that book. Snatched that up in two days, probably. It's a little mermaid retelling, but the twist on that is they made the they there were mermaids in it but the sirens were the biggest aspect Ooh. the girl um uh, we love a bad bitch that lures men to their death also did not yeah it was very same along those lines enemies to lovers i was supposed to kill you ended mm. up getting feelings for you falling in love with you oh, no. my mom is the mad queen not my mom not my mom my, my mom. mom's a bitch my mom. <laughs> she was a bitch though i hated that mom i was like oh. kill her take the kingdom back it's at, you know what a lot of times it's not the moms in the books, it's like the stepmoms, so it's kind of refreshing. Yeah. No, you know? this is blood-related mother. Yeah. And also has, like, one of those aunts and cousins, so it's always, like, the aunts and cousins yeah. where they have, they're, like, best friends, mm -hmm. too. She's like, I know you're better than this. You're better. You're better. <laughs> but loved the Siren's twist on it. Just made it, a l gave it that little bit more umph to the light read that you get, and the story was really good. Yeah, I, I haven't read it in a little bit, so I can't exactly remember the whole synopsis of it. But yeah. Well, I, going into another YA, uh, Seven Sins Snow. Is, I'm just totally kidding. It's, I was going to say, I don't remember that. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, you're talking about the light YA? <laughs> it's, uh, it's a Snow White retelling, um, but instead of seven little dwarves, there's seven vampire kings, and... Major trigger warnings. Major, major, major trigger warnings. Please check it and know yeah, what you're comfortable with guys. and what you're not comfortable with. I remember um, when I asked you about that the first time, and I was like, wait, does she, like, fuck a bunch of dwarves? And she <laughs> I was like, nah. No, no I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, but it's, it is a standalone book, so you don't have to, like, go through a whole series of it, but it is really... I haven't finished it yet, but I got, like, three quarters of the way through. Um, and it's it's dark. Reverse it's, harems, man. That's yeah. just that's just wild. I know. Seven people? Seven, seven yeah. vampire kids? And that's it's like the vampires come to her in her dreams and they can like touch her and also kinda of like do all this a little bit. Yeah. Like they mess with their minds. The kind demons of. kinda yeah. mess with their minds yeah. a little bit. Um so like in the beginning, like she hasn't met them yet and then they eventually like lure her out. But her like stepmom is the evil, mean Lady that either wants to sell her or basically kill her. Um, but yeah, it's it's real fucked up. There's one part where she like kills a person and he's like bloating and like bodily fluids are leaking everywhere and the stepmom makes her like clean it. That's brutal. That's gross. That's a little gross. It's real gross. I don't think I want my drink anymore. I feel about to <laughs> throw it off. <laughs> <laughs> that's just like easy on it. But it's it is a good read. It's it was dark but it was fun it's so weird thinking about these books and these things that you grew up with as a kid only for <laughs> oh, a picture so i said like this <laughs> yes no way yeah that's a vampire king knock it's a little sickening not gonna lie. <laughs> I love it. Or you just run from like, ah, oh, cute. I'm still going to watch my Disney movies too, but oh, am yeah. I going to be thinking about other things? I'm like, Absolutely. Simba? No. No. Because <laughs> you know he's going to be the bad guy in Scarred. Mufasa! You know he's going to be the bad guy. It's going to be no. reversed. Scar's going to be the the morally gray. Yeah. 
villain, anti-hero, <laughs> lover. Same old shit that we fall and in love Simba's with. Simba's gonna be like, or Mufasa, one of the two, is gonna be like the mean guy that beats her. Yeah. And no, no, no we hate them. The yeah. Fuck the good guys. Fuck the good guys. Don't like them. We don't want them. I mean, you gotta be nice, though. Yeah. You know, there's that line. Like, we like, always say, oh, we don't want a good guy. But there's a difference, and we want a, a bad guy that wants to take care of us and love us. Well, I mean, that twist us. happens in the um, Aladdin retelling. Yeah. Desperate measures. Mm-hmm. Have we read her aunt? Nope. <laughs> Have <laughs> we Katie seen Robert. it all over TikTok? Yes. Yep. And then I just found out, like, a few days ago that she has a ton of other books in the same... Um, Is that the same author as Neon Gods? I think so, Katie yeah. Katie Robert, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, she has a bunch of other books in the same, like, I guess, series, but I don't know what the other ones are yet, so yeah, I have to look this those is, up. Yeah, this is interesting, because it's Jafar and Jasmine. Mm-hmm. And I mean, yeah. let's I mean, we all saw it. We all know. We know that sexual movie. tension. Yeah. <laughs> she's happened. chained, and he's, like, dragging her towards him. Yeah, that was not for the faint of heart for a kid. That was, like, like being weird. weird. Is that you? <laughs> yeah, you question that as a kid, That's why sure. we're all fucked up, because yeah. we saw shit like that. He, like, makes her feed him the apple. Yeah. And he, like, <laughs> takes a bite of apple and spit Maybe. goes on her face. It explains a that's lot. That's not now. a children's that movie. Is, that does like, not happen. if you said that part and you didn't know I was talking about Jasmine, like, Aladdin, <laughs> you'd be like, what porn are you watching? I mean, there's Jen? always, like, dark things that happen that you catch later on yeah. as an adult in Disney movies. That, yeah, that's definitely but one of them. But that was very aggressive. Yeah, that was. It was, like, blatantly. I love obvious. how your beard's all twisted. Twisted. That's just she fun. fingers his beard. She fingers his beard. <laughs> she does. She twirls it around. <laughs> I wouldn't have put it like that. <laughs> it's basically that, yeah. It's like, oh, oh man, it's so twisted. Has anyone read Cinder? Is it any good? We've been we see it a We're indecisive time. about it, but it's about like a sixteen-year-old, isn't it? Yeah, she's young. That's why I won't pick it up. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to read about a sixteen-year-old. Eighteen, I'll. Make a I'll pass do. for it. I'll do. That's legal. But 16, 16 just feels weird to me. Like, does something Well, and especially to... because it's probably going to be written for a younger audience. Yeah. Because she's so much younger. But and I'm pretty sure it is so YA. so many good things about it. Where at least on my side, I'm like, okay, I'm fine with the YA. You're just like, is are they going to fuck or not? I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> I need Somebody to tell know. us, please. Is it worth it? I just want to know. Because Cinderella... This sounds messed up too. Cinderella was one of my favorite movies mm-hmm. as a kid. I was, I had everything. I had so the dress. Good. I had the shoes. I had a I night had the wig. <laughs> I had. Oh my god! I have like collectibles from Disney with Cinderella. I, I have Aww. antique. Um, That's how it's a Pocahontas ornament ornaments. But now I'm like, all right, how fucked up is this story? <laughs> I want to know. Is it good? I feel like, is it? Is she? How twisted is it? I feel like, I, like in my head, I can picture what it's about. But I can't think about what it's about. I about think it. I read the back of the book is she once. Like a robot or something? No, she's not a robot. I, feel like she's a robot. I definitely know <laughs> she's not a robot. I'm gonna look it up right now. I know now. we're gonna look just it up keep right talking. now, just because I want to know. I need to know. I just I only put it back because I don't want to read about a 16 year old. I guess yes. Even in the Disney movie, she is that young, or even in the original no, story, fine. but. I just, I don't know. I keep seeing it all over TikTok more. My phone's listening to me again. Cinder. Cinder. All right, Cinder. let's see. Cinder. Cinder. Oh, it's Marissa Meyer. Yeah, it's the same author. I didn't know. I said that in book bar. I didn't hear it. I never listened to I didn't Asian. hear your phone. She doesn't care. She doesn't care so much. <laughs> she's got, yeah, she's got the whole, that whole series. I found it. Uh, I was right. Cyborgs and humans. Oh, shit. I was way off. Ah! <laughs> What? Um, yeah, I thought so because, like, in if you look at the cover on her picture. Oh wow! I didn't yeah. even see that. Literally no. looked at the cover person <laughs> in book I, I was thinking she was like some kind of robot or something, and that's why it kind of put me off from oh, it. Wow! I think okay. Now that I think about it, I probably didn't even finish reading the rest of what <laughs> it was just, about like, when I picked it up. Because I was like, sixteen like, year old. No, thank you. Wow. <laughs> I believe. you. All right, now I'm even more intrigued. I'll get past it. You know what? <laughs> Fuck it. I'm just going to pick it up. If I hate it, I learned my lesson. We should just go and sit in Book Barn and speed read it one day. I could probably do that. We could totally get away with that. I think they would have no idea. We've spent 
literally a couple They should hours be paying us at this point because we go there. <laughs> We're probably there more sponsoring than yeah. their actual workers are. <laughs> probably, yeah. I mean, not for the length of time that they probably are. Well, they need to stop putting We're there up quite a few times books. a week. They should just do their research first. Oh, there's so many books. Now I have a mission to go back there and get Cinder. It's there. It's yeah. always there. Yeah. I'm going to um, let you read it and then tell me about it. Yeah, if I don't like it, hey, I paid, what, probably five bucks for it, six bucks yeah, for it? Between four and probably six bucks. It's fine. It's fine. It's going to be a good book. I did see a good book. I have high high Kingdom at Book Board the other day, too, and I was like, Jen, you should get it. She's like, no. Like, nah. <laughs> it's two YA. I was like, I'll get but Hey, again, I got two YA books today. Are you going to read them probably. anytime soon? Probably not. No, but I'll not. eventually maybe read them, possibly I, in the future at some I point. I will hold you to that fact, because <laughs> when she says eventually, I'm like, I'll see you in a couple of years. <laughs> but you want to see you. Yeah. I just, there's so many books, and there's so many new ones that keep coming out. I'm going to need you to authors to take like a six-month break, except for a couple of you that I need the next book or your first book. You know who you are. How many times, too, do you just open a book and you did not know it was a retelling. For me, a lot of them. A lot. Everyone. I didn't even notice Akatar was a retelling at one point. Oh yeah, when I read Tequila For a Kingdom, long time. I was just, I just enjoyed reading what it was about before I picked it up. And so when I started putting on clues, I was like, oh wait, red hair, thire, ah, full oh, mermaid. Hi, <laughs> little mermaid, how are you? But we've discussed this before, I'm terrible at picking things up right away. <laughs> I'm getting better. She, Maybe. Mm, am I? Maybe. No, I'm not. I don't think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are your favorite retellings, guys? Let us know. DM us. Email us. FaceTime send us. Send us a package. PR package? We don't have a P.O. box. But we'll get one. Actually, I do. Oh, yeah. Charlotte does have a P.O. box. I'm not giving anyone my address. No. <laughs> Crazies. Crazies. That's yeah. how we get murdered in our place. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say that. <laughs> Oh, oh man. so, so many, many good, good stories, though. And we can't wait to read more to talk again. Maybe in like a year we'll do another retelling. Yeah, there's definitely going to be way episode. more. Yeah, because I'm sure there's going to be a bunch more. Maybe well, we'll actually just like catch up on the ones that we want to read and just base it all off of that. Well, hey, we have um, Brandy Book Thought, her Joker and Harley Quinn retelling that's coming out. It. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we This is definitely more of the Disney fantasy yeah, retelling. The There's so many, and then a little bit of the Greek mythology with Hades mm -hmm. and Persephone. There's just so many type of retellings in general. So Joker and Harley Quinn, that's just gonna, that's just gonna do so good. What about uh, Genius. Wattpad Harry Potter? Is that... Tangly retelling. No, because <laughs> I don't. No, I don't want to reread Harry Potter. Little. I didn't like it. Um, I've actually never read I'm Harry not Potter. Sorry, but I've read multiple Wattpad, Hermione, and <laughs> Draco Malfoy. Oh my god, I did hear about fan those. Fics. Yeah, <laughs> they're pretty good. Some of them are also dark. You know, at this point, Obviously. everyone knows that. Um. But yeah. Shh, why do you feel like you should fucking. hesitate when you say that? You just shouldn't know. hesitate. I'm just so scared my mom's going to be listening. And she's going to be like, I really fucked you up, didn't That's I? That's fair. My aunt the other day was like, oh, I heard you had a podcast now. And I'm like, yeah. She goes, I heard it was racy. I'm like, oh, <gasps> yeah, don't listen to it. My, I, my dad, I talked to him this past week. And he's asked him about the podcast now. And he's like, yeah, I saw you post it on Facebook. And I was like, yeah, it's going good. And he was like, what's it about? And I was like, oh, you know, books. Just it's about books. books and things. And, uh, books. Yeah. The Charlotte and I read. And he was like, oh, okay, that sounds good. Yeah. I was like, yeah, don't read it. Yeah, that's fine. You don't need to, you don't need to follow don't this. <laughs> just, just tell me I'm great from afar. <laughs> Text me. Don't Give me the moral support. Like my posts. Manifest it Don't me. listen. Yeah, don't listen, please. I've told my mom so many times. I'm like, I love you. But, for but those... eventually it's going to get super racy. Yeah. Super. But for those who do listen, thanks guys. We love you. We always love you. We always try to make sure we make a point to just constantly thank you guys. Yeah. Because you guys have been so supportive. Yeah. And it's crazy to think about, like, people are supporting us that we had... Didn't even know before this. Yeah. But who, we just like we created so bonds with people. Yeah. yeah. And we talk we talk about them more than we do most people that we actually know in our lives like yeah. every single day. 
<laughs> the community that we felt like we've grown already whenever we see a comment we automatically screenshot and send to each other if someone hasn't if one of us hasn't seen it yet yeah a story we share all those little things that just add up for us it makes doing this so much more worth it it does even though we're not sponsored yet someone sponsor us <laughs> even though we're behind <laughs> even then reading. yeah it's fun it's fun we love doing it it's, yeah like as we always say, we, we had so much fun just talking to each other about it, and we just wanted to talk yeah. to you guys about it. And that we can be ourselves with you guys. Yeah. As you guys see, most of the crappy posts is and it's <laughs> how we, we really are. We are so happy to find out that somebody else thinks we're funny, too. Yes. We finally had somebody tell us yeah. that the other day we were <laughs> talking about. People. We were like, you know, our whole lives we've been told, like, you're too much. You're too much for me. Yeah, tone it down. You need, you're too wild, whatever. No. No, we're not. Yeah. They just weren't enough. But Fuck you guys off. are. And we love you. <laughs> and we love you all. As always, keep reading your smut. Keep your crown up tight. Pick your favorite retellings. It didn't even make sense. <laughs> keep drinking your booze. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. I fucked up with mine, so I'm just going <laughs> to... Mix it up. Drink it, it. Smell it. Love it. Drink your yummy cocktails. Uh, Follow our recipes or don't. They yeah. could taste better if you didn't, to be honest. <laughs> Some yeah. of them. Some of them. <laughs> There's been a couple. They're yummy. But I'm like, this could have been better. <laughs> I know. Well, we only had all the ingredients. Every single time we come up with them last minute, too. Yeah. Because we have no time on our lives. Or we go to the store and we forget one or two ingredients yeah. that we thought. We literally have about. a whole list in our heads. We're like, we got to start writing this shit I down. I know. I, I have a terrible memory. You can ask anyone that knows me. Too much going in our heads. Terrible memory. And I just think I'm going to go to the store and yeah. remember everything. <laughs> Who do I think I am? Yeah, I know. We're not smart. <laughs> no. Idiots we read here. a lot. But by far, we are not smart. Yeah. People <laughs> probably think that we're super smart because we read so much. I'm like, yeah, thank you. I'm like, I can do some fucked up like, stuff. Like, yeah, I wear glasses and I can I know how to murder someone inspired. in about five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Deep throat a peni. Don't kidding. forget, wear that crown proud, bitches. Charlotte's going to enjoy that later on when she listens back. Tell it. She didn't listen. Love it. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> There, you know how many times I listen back to these <laughs> and she catches things that and I, I catch said. things that she said and I just start <laughs> dying. I'm like, when did she say that? Oh yeah, one just happened. You all one heard it. Happened. She didn't. I didn't. <laughs> we love you guys so much. Always can't wait to talk to you next week and this whole week on Instagram. Thank you for catching up on book club. Next book club episode will be coming out hopefully soon. What that book will be, You'll no just one have knows. To find out. We don't know. We're going to hold the suspense for you guys. Maybe we'll do a poll and ask you guys what our book should be. Oh, that's a good that idea, could be actually. Fun. Let's do that. Look, another great idea. We suck at making decisions, too. <laughs> so we're just like, let's make somebody else make do it Make someone else us. do our decisions Or we'll just, us. like, have Bailey just, like, set the two books down and have Ooh, Bailey choose. We could put, like, multiple books on the ground. Yeah. And then be like, Bailey! Yeah, there's a few. Bailey, pick That'll be cute. Which one. As always, don't forget to check out the YouTube channel, too. Uh, yes. I'm going to be working on a blooper reel very soon from the first five, six episodes, including book it's club. It's going to be a hot mess. It's going to be hol oh, yeah. I want to say hilarious, but it's going to be oh, so embarrassing. If anyone wants to check out a great picture, Charlotte, check Taqueria. <laughs> I hate that ah! picture so much. I can't believe he posted that. <laughs> it is gross. <laughs> What I'm is even on my phone my for face. later for blackmail? If she's ever mean to me, I'm like, oops. Shit, I'm really she has mean so to many you pictures in general. That's gonna be hard. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, in two minutes, it's gonna be posted on Instagram. All right, guys. You know what? On that note, we'll check you next week. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.